Hello, it's uh, Chris and Derek again, working on the 52 Studebaker. Um, we've welded in our homemade uh, cab corner. Uh, it fit pretty good. Uh, it's just rough welded in right now. We still have enough, lots and lots and lots and lots of grinding. Um, we did have to make a little relief cut here because there was a little bulging out there. So we just cut it pushed it in welded it back up and we made uh it in basically two pieces split here and then this is the second piece um it's very strong now we still have to brew some bracing uh underneath it but this is what it used to look like that was the one part and then that was the back part so yeah they were uh on. So today uh, we're going to attempt to make this cab corner and cut it out. This side's better. It's not not uh, not as rusted as the other side, uh, but still you can't bondo that. Uh, so I already marked out a line, a couple lines here. We're going to cut it just shy of this we're, we want to keep this edge so we'll cut it just shy of that edge that that's just so we can keep that contour um so we can use that as a gauge uh then we'll just cut it along here along this seam here in the back and then whatever we have to do on the bottom we'll just cut this will be as the same as the other the other side this will be uh, the a different piece a second piece it may look okay, but I can see pinholes right there, and there's a big crack right there, so it's, and I can feel rust behind it, and it's quite flimsy right now, so we're going to cut that out, and uh, then we'll uh, cut a piece of uh, sheet metal, about double the size, and then we'll start hammering it into shape and we'll show you that we didn't show you on the other side uh, how we uh derek did it because we weren't sure if it was going to work out so but it, it worked out pretty damn good so uh this side we're going to show you of course it'll probably be a screw up but, <laughs> but right but we'll uh try it It's uh, took a little while. I don't want to cut too much and or too little, but uh, it's yeah, it's not great in there. It's got all this crappy undercoating, sound deadening or something. But we're basically going to use that as our template. Basically, we'll cut a piece, probably, you want to cut a piece, probably maybe double this size. It just makes it easier to uh, work with. And then you can, if one piece fits, like it might fit good that way, and then you can just cut it and trim it. But all this And that's why we take it up. Yeah, that's what, and that's what's underneath here too. If we would have just patched, put a patch over top of it, all this would Guaranteed still be there. Through in another couple years. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this side's a lot better than the other side. The other side, this, this inner, basically the inner floor structure, it was ninety percent gone, so I had to replace it all. This, I'm hoping, I'll start hitting it with a hammer and a, and a screwdriver, but I'm hoping I can just patch it, but we'll see what, uh, I haven't looked what it actually looks like underneath, but uh, it might be even, oh. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's dirt, undercoating, or seam sealer, or what. 
Dead mouse. Or dead mouse. Yeah, could be. <laughs> but, yeah, it's... That's part of the rocker, and that's... Move that with my finger. That's what's in people's rockers. Even even cars these, day, these days. Oh. Why they rushed out in five years. Yep. Ooh. Score! Whoa! Right on! I found a half a drill bit. I was looking for that. <laughs> I think it's been in there for a while. <laughs> yeah, it, it looks okay here. If you probably look, I don't know if you can get inside. We have the seed in there. Take a look what it looks like in there. Oh, yeah. Keep your hand. My finger and holes and yeah, so we'll uh well I'll I'm gonna chip away all this stuff and Derek can uh cut out a piece and start hammering it it out on uh our uh homemade uh ghetto beanbag uh stool type object object so <laughs> we'll uh do that. Okay, so uh, we're going to attempt to make that cab corner out of just a piece of uh, sheet metal. You basically hammering it out and then we got a plashing hammer to smooth it all out and get it all nice and curvy and we're, we'll use that as a template, the body as a template. Um, we did have a, a, a bean bag, a proper bean bag and a proper, like a, a nylon, a nylon hammer. hammer. Um, but it got misplaced, lost, thrown out somewhere. I don't know. So we're doing what, uh, well, we have to do. We got an old stool. We got a couple, uh, uh, gloves and we got some rags. You can do it in any order. You don't have to do it in the order we are doing it. You can put the rag or the gloves on the top if you want. <laughs> and by no means this is you can this is our way of doing it. You can do it your way you can do it the proper way you can even go buy a cat corner for this vehicle but what Derek's doing now he's he's made he, he put he's marked out lines roughly where that's going to be like where the curve is so there's a curve slightly there and then the curve here that's why this on an angle so he's beating it along there beating along there just to give it some sort of shape and then and then stretching, it, more stretching it basically yeah and then he takes it to the planishing hammer and Ooh, it will uh, smooth out all the little lumps and we don't have a lot or I should say minimal to non-existent um, experience with uh, this thing we're and, not professional metal workers. No. And it, uh, yeah. That's garbage. We're professional metal fabricators, but not workers. <laughs> see it's curved slightly so we just keep doing that and matching it up with uh, our piece here you 
we got a while to go. Yeah, we got a long, long time. More beating and more. This has got to come Way out. Yet, yeah. But it, uh, it seemed to work the last time. Maybe we have too much cushion. Maybe. Might be. Yeah. Oh, we know it's freaking loud. Yep. Very loud. So. it over your knee over a tire too yeah just a little bit more there there Might and that off. Yeah. You, you make it yeah you can see it's very lumpy but that machine takes those out it'll smooth up smooth it out and hopefully It'll fit into that hole. We won't be welding it in today because we gotta. I gotta deal with all that. Gotta deal with the rocker. Gotta rip this out. So fix that hole. Derek's gonna continue. I will. Uh, Go somewhere to fix my ears. Oh, fuck, it's loud. Okay, Derek's almost finished. Well, he's finished with the planishing hammer and hammering it, but it fits fairly good. Uh, I'm not too worried about the little gap there. What we're going to do now is basically start trimming it and fitting it because this needs to be trimmed here. And if this needs to be bent a little bit we can bend that by hand that's what i had to do on the other side we'll leave the bottom long because that you don't see it and we might be able to use like bend it over but yeah there's a uh and of course it's going to need bondo on that but every uh panel needs bondo pretty much so but yeah um doing what we have to do and doing what using the tools we have the only thing we didn't use is a pair of uh, underwear <laughs> and I've uh, cut out more of that and as you can see all the holy mess so I'm going to just gut that it's too rotten to patch holes so i'm just gonna gut it and yeah go from there rust not your friend okay so derek's pretty much finished that he's cut it a little bit smaller still got a way to do but a way to go but we're basically good for right now because uh well for right now it fits excellent here fits okay there so we can just go later on when we're ready to actually put it in um clamp it there take a zip cut all the way through both sheet metals that will come out perfect so this curve is pretty good and then we'll just make a little piece there this has to be cut off here but trimmed down a bit but other than that that'll work
but can't put that in until all this is fixed and I start cutting all this out as you can see it's mostly just rust particles and then started cutting off the rocker the galvanized rocker panel and underneath it's holes and same thing on the other side it's a little bit better but it's still the exact same pretty much so and the rocker goes all the way if you can see i can flex this this thing moves here this is already been disconnected it rotted basically away so uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to cut the rest of that off and cut off all this rusted metal put our new rocker in put our new floor subfloor in here all the bracing and then the cab corner in the last and i got a whole big hole here so yeah there's going to be a lot of grinding a lot of cutting uh, so first thing is we got to get this front part of the rocker off and start cutting away the excess rust that we don't want hanging off the truck and then but it won't be it won't be today put it welding that in but it fits good that's all that matters but then after all that it'll be rust free yes rust free and we'll spray the inch in, hole inside of there underneath with some good good paint some rust paint so but that's uh using even you could probably uh you don't need a planishing hammer probably you could probably just lightly tap well it'd take a long time a hammer and dolly probably something like this and bend it over a tire keep bending it hammering it you could probably do it that way uh just the planishing hammer makes it go faster uh but yeah it seems to uh fit nice that's exactly what we want we'll try and make it look like the other side and no one's going to notice no one's going to see anything by here down here so that's good good for now now we're just going to tackle this all right derek just pulled the rest of the rocker or the cover off the galvanized one and it's all rusted so he's just going to, going to cut it along that ridge just to get rid of that holes and give us some working room for our uh, new rocker Okay, so it's next day we've uh, done some progress. Uh, as you can see, I pretty much gutted gutted the inside because um, it wasn't as bad badly rusted as the other side, but it was rusted in different spots, and it made it a pain in the butt. So I decided to cut it out anyways because uh, it was really a mess there was holes all over the place but uh so then we uh put our rocker panel in our new uh steel tubing is a rocker panel and we extended it all the way back here uh and then i got some square tubing just some scrap stuff came down and anchored it to it so now that's that basically replicates what was there it's a little different but it's good enough uh that was basically uh what the the original one had a curve but we're not doing that uh but i found out with taking out the the a lot of the structure here it moved the cab the cab 
the bottom of the cab move forward because before you used to be able to uh, close this door. Now, now you can't. There. It used to close very nicely. So, we got to, once, nothing's like this isn't attached to uh, our rocker panel, but once I start building some inside bracing here, we're going to have to push this back. Uh, with a, We've got a port of power. We'll just brace this up against there, push it back like a quarter of an inch maybe, ho I'm hoping, and then start welding attach this to the here and that will get it back into a sp into its spot so it's a good thing we actually left the doors on cuz if we uh would have did this with the doors off like we did Kevin's truck uh it would have uh, been a pain in the ass when we're trying to fit doors cuz the door after this is all welded in you're not moving this and you'd have to modify the bottom of the door to fit, and it, it would have been a pain in the butt. A nightmare. Yeah. So that's one thing to consider uh, when you got a lot of rust like this. Uh, things move around. Uh, that's why a lot of guys, they, they put bracing, X bracing, in when they start cutting roofs and ch crap and chopping, because things, things are going to move on you. And if you don't put it back in roughly the same spot, then you've got fitment issues all over the place and it just makes, it tumbles down and makes things a lot harder. So, uh, we basically got this welded in. Uh, our next thing is to make our bead and attach it to the floor. So make our floor here. I'll make the floor come a little bit up past here uh, and then I'll start doing the inner structure there and then maybe the uh, even because uh, this there's a, like a box that goes up up the cab corner so there's two sides and both sides are off so I got to replace both sides push this back and then that will get it in place but I think for now uh, we'll make the uh, the floor with the the rib in it the bead we'll do that get that into place that's our next up hurdle okay we've uh, created our uh, bead with our not the greatest bead roller because it's just a princess auto or harbor freight one but and we're don't have a stand for it or vice that's close by so make and do then we um punch holes in it and it slid under the original uh and butted up against there so then we're gonna weld all the holes up and then take a zippy cut and cut along there and weld as we go along like we did the other side and uh, the other side worked out pretty good so and I think this one's a little bit better than the other side because we have practice so Derek's gonna weld that up right away Taking our time going, moving the clamps one hole at a time just to get it nice and flush. We do find when you put beads in panels of sheet metal, especially a thin one that's only like two and a half inches wide. Uh, it does tend to uh, warp it quite a bit. So. Clamps will straighten it out.
Yeah, we finished uh, cutting it and basically tacking it in different spots and now Derek's just filling in uh, the spaces between the tacks. Which is going to take a while. It came out pretty damn good. And I'm not just saying that because I we made it. It's very good. It's not gonna even look exactly like the uh, original, but it's gonna look good enough. I'm getting welded in the flash. I'll move over here. Yeah, it's gonna look fine. Um, sink. Yeah, it's actually dark out, getting late, so I think uh, we'll probably just leave this video here, and we still have to do all the structure in there, weld some structure in there, push this back, then weld the structure in, and then cab corners can go in. Uh, yeah, and then I might have to replace this because this piece is quite rotted but a lot of welding a lot of grinding lots and lots of <laughs> grinding i don't even think i've finished grinding on the other side but <laughs> yeah but another major item done yeah so if you like this obviously subscribe comment uh we try to get back to as many as we can. Um, yeah. And we'll see you on the next one. Go Ukraine, go.